Hey everybody, welcome back to Groundhog's Garage. My name is Jim. Hey, I've got a new project. So this is a short-term thing. I'm probably just going to flip this vehicle. Maybe. i got to sell one of them. But I bought a 2001 Toyota Sequoia. And I got it really cheap. It's got a little uh, rose bush damage there. But uh, for 2001... You know, I don't know a lot about these. I've, I've often wondered, I mean, they're an awful lot like a Tahoe. Um, I have some initial impressions that I'll share with you later, but um, it had a miss in it, and that's why the lady was selling it. She didn't want to spend any money on it. It's got 250,000 miles on it. So, I just got it home. Of course, I couldn't wait to tear into it. And uh, I'm on the passenger side bank here, and I'd already taken out this plug and coil and the plugs look fairly new everything was dry the plug looked good so I thought I'd back up to the number what would this be on a Toyota 132 two cylinder and I don't know if you can see it but this gasket is leaking around the cylinder hole there's a little pile of oil right there and the inside of the plug cavity there is full of oil and Look at the coil. It's drenched. And what I do with the plug? The plug is wet. So I am going to real quick just uh, clean off the, the plug and the coil and clean up that oil a little bit. Just real quick like to see if the mist goes away, which I think it might. And if that's the case, I probably don't even need plugs. It probably just needs a new gasket for the uh, valve cover. So I just wanted to show you that before I got too far into this. And uh, I'll come back when I get the plug back in. Okay, I uh, took some brake clean. Cleaned the coil, the boot, inside and out. Cleaned off the spark plug of oil. The plug looks pretty good. Put it back together. I'm going to fire it up now. I've been messing around with this thing trying to figure out where the mist is coming from. It started here. So yesterday I switched the coils and the spark plugs from this cylinder between the two here. Now I just took the coils out and I thought I'd bring you along here because we're going to pull. I, I took it for a drive. Let me back way up. <laughs> Definitely fouled, okay? The uh, electrode was covered in oil uh, or gas or whatever, but it wasn't firing. While I was checking that, I just went through each one down both banks just to make sure all of them were firing. And outside of this one, everything else looked good. Uh, it, it was amazing. All seven plugs looked identical. What we're going to do now is we're going to check these two plugs. As I drove it around yesterday, it ran a lot better because uh, some of the plugs, I cleaned all the coils off at the boots and put some dielectric grease around those. So if there was any voltage leaks or anything like that, it would eliminate the arcing. And it did run better, but it still had the miss. So I'm going to pull that plug out and we're going to look at it together and we'll see because if I switch the coils into plugs and it's still this one then it's not the coil and the plug there's something going on with source voltage so and the trigger and we'll take a look at that which brings up the next thing if you look right here let's see I get my finger there see that you know what that is and there's a couple right over here mouse droppings so it's quite conceivable they chew through a wire. I don't see any initial damage right now, but um, we will uh, look into that if we have to. All right, I'm going to pull the plugs out and we'll take a look. I loosened the bop already because I wanted to just be able to do this. So that's dry. 
That's interesting. I didn't expect that. So, let's do this one. And it's not dry. It's probably hard to tell, but it is a little wet. Or weak, anyway. It could still be this coil. Um, it's split, too. You can see that. You can see how the boot's all wet. And because it was sitting in the oil that was in this one, because the gasket leaked, this boot is like, it doesn't uh, seal very well across the spark plug. But yeah, let's, uh, you can see the difference between the two, how dry this one is compared to this one. It looks like that might have fired off a couple times, but definitely, definitely the coil is either not working or is very weak. I ordered one, I got one coming, but, uh, Everything's back ordered, so it's going to take a couple days. I'm in the Sequoia, and uh, I'm on my way to pick up the coil from Advanced Auto, not a sponsor. And I'm hoping, I think maybe uh, I can demonstrate how it's missing, because I know you probably wouldn't be able to see it on camera, but you may be able to hear the truck shutter when uh, at low speed because that's when you notice it the most could you see the seat shaking so I think it's going to be that coil and uh, we're going to pick one up and they're very easy to replace in this truck so we'll put one in if not in advanced auto we will go to a park and do it in the parking lot somewhere and we'll see what happens okay so I got a coil I uh, used my 25 percent discount that I got for being a member and I think it was forty nine dollars so here's the new coil and uh, I got some spark plug protector grease and we are at the park in a beautiful morning so uh, take a couple minutes and put this coil in here and see what happens okay I changed the coil and I didn't bother filming it it takes a minute these uh, there are some things to do on this truck that are so easy it defies description so um, let's go let's give it a try That was it. Runs like a clock. Wow. So, I guess that makes this the end of the video. If you like these kind of things, click on the subscribe button down below and turn on your notifications and smash that like button and hope to see you soon.